looks better than ever, but that just means... Alicia! Saray, what are you doing here? And the others? Of course. Shame you can't see us, though. Isn't that natural? Hey! Rose, wasn't it? You were with the Sparrow Feathers who came to the palace. <laughs> nice to finally meet you in person, Princess Alicia. Just Alicia will do. Rose is helping me out big time. As Squire? Don't worry, she's doing a great job. I see. I'm sure it helps that you've grown into your power. But still, Rose must be incredibly special. That's the nicest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> well, you and Saray are so alike. That's not the nicest thing I've ever heard. Very true. My apologies. Hey, what are you apologizing for? <laughs> Saray, I'm glad you three are getting along, but we came here on a mission. Oh, right. There's something I want to ask you, Alicia. Hmm? Shrines of Trials. Ring a bell? I'm not sure if it's what you're looking for, but just the other day we received word of a ruin discovered at Lake Haven Heights. It's a military secret, so I don't know the exact location, but the entrance is supposedly extremely well hidden. Lady Maltran has just gone off to investigate. Maltran? The discovery came about while apprehending a group of thieves. They turned out to have several famous swords in their possession. The military decided that further investigation might turn up something useful to them. Something useful for the war? Yes. Lady Alicia! The captain is awaiting your report! Apologies, I'll be right there. Sorry, but I've got a job to do. Please come back to Lady Lake again sometime. I shall pray that you overcome your trials safely. Thanks. See you again. Understood. I shall report as such to my superiors. It's just as you can see. They sent me out to inspect the bridge. Jerks. Hey. It's okay. Lady Maltran is helping me out a great deal, and I can still keep going. You sure about all this? Rose? I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said that. No, no. You're probably right. No matter how I protest, I don't think the war can be stopped. I want to just drop everything and run, all the time. <sighs> but whenever my thoughts drift in that direction, I stop. The strength of a knight exists to protect, and their kindness serves the people. Those are the words I learned from my teacher. Guess you have your honor too, Alicia. Oh, not really. I'm just obstinate. So, you're just like Miklio, then? Is that supposed to be a compliment? <laughs> <laughs> sure, laugh at my expense. Alright. And with that, I must be off. Be well, everyone. You too! Later! like back when everyone was traveling with Alicia. We had to put up with a lot less nonsense talk, for one thing. Huh? I don't get it. Why wasn't Lila speaking? Could someone hand Rose a mirror?
Saray's not the only Weapons ready! Like Tiger Blade! Let's go! Right. 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 right! Alright! 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 The entrance to the ruin's supposed to be really well hidden, right? We better be extra diligent in our search. This is it? It hasn't been eroded by the waterfall at all. If it wasn't recently made, then that means... It's using seraphic arts. This ruin must date from the Temperance of Avarost. Correct. This is Le Fay, the Shrine of the Trial of Water. It has been some time since we were visited by a shepherd. I'm the Shepherd Saray. I'm the Prime Lord, Lila. You must be a servant of the Water Lord, Amanak. Indeed. I'm Alto, the Protector Seraph who serves Amanak. I'll get right to the point. What must we do to obtain the spiritual power? My sword! Where? Where is my sword? Back! Holy crap! Swords? There's something above. That is Azura. I've heard of him. A powerful Hellion sustained by rage and able to fight eternally without rest. Is the trial to quell Azura? No. To receive the spiritual power. You must find out the reason why Ashura became a Hellion to begin with. We can't just purify him? We have to know the reason? If you truly are the Shepherd, you should know why that is important. Right. Psychotherapy, my favorite. <laughs> it isn't called a trial for nothing. I wish you luck. The water trial. Guess it's my time to shine, huh? You'll be fine. It doesn't technically hurt. Technically? What are those things? They look like eyes! That's because they are eyes. I didn't realize arts like this were still alive.
to describe this one. Dark and I. It's known for its art attack. It splits things out from places. Is this the diary of a shepherd? A swordsmith suddenly visited by a seraph. the shepherd's diary looks like it enemy spotted Lila. this colossal hellion blocks all water attacks but we can win if we attack its other weak points I want to become stronger as a like this. Can't be a coincidence. Scylla is dangerous no matter how close you are to it. So then what do we do? Why don't you go figure it out? Come forward! That's...
progress. They say it's the first hundred years that matter. Huh? It's a proverb. Could that relate to the number of legs they have? Its name says it all. Hundred P, isn't it wonderful? Can't you feel it? Can't you tell us something helpful? So is this what grown ups Poor Shepherd. He's veered into a dangerous headspace. <laughs> what did you expect? Ray, look around you. There might be something nearby.
right, up and down, throwing us every which way. Whoever built this shrine's a real piece of work. Such meticulous design. He or she must have labored very diligently. Correction. You're a real piece of work. Could the owner of this diary be... Azura!
his capabilities as a shepherd. Well, I think he's quite talented. I think you're kind of overrating him. And his friendship with you makes it all the better. I think you're definitely overrating that. Maltran came here as well? Even if she did, it wouldn't do her any good. Only the Shepherd has what it takes to get anywhere in a place like this. A Shepherd... or his antithesis. Hey, you think Azura is really a Hellion? Yes. I can feel its malevolence and domain. Why? Do you think it's a fake or something? Well, I mean, isn't it kind of strange? Why would they let a dangerous Hellion like that roam around freely? Why would a Protector Seraph just leave it be? Yeah, they're supposed to be powerful, high-ranked Seraphim, right? It probably has to do with the trial. Protector Seraphim are given special tasks. Sounds like a pretty convenient excuse. Yeah, I can't say that it isn't. You don't have to put it that way. You should know too. Seraphim aren't exactly models of virtue. They're not exactly heroes of justice either. Well, that's... Sold! You two sure sound so convincing when you team up. As long as you got the gist. Yep. If that's the trial, I'm up for it. This isn't it either! Where is it? Where is my sword? His sword? Is it normal for Hellions to attack each other? Ah! I am the Shepherd! It is my job to defeat the Hellions! So, Azura is a Shepherd. A Shepherd who became a Hellion! Give it back! Give me my sword back! Come! You! You stole my sword, didn't you? Azura is a Hellion of anger. The cause of this anger ought to be what made him a Hellion. You mean because his sword was stolen? No, there's more to it. Give me my sword back so that I may purify everything! Azure, you have to. 
focus, Saray. Bring him down with all your strength. want to do cut down the whole world that's the reason why Azura became a hellion correct <sighs> that voice this is the spiritual power of water Trying to say something. Give me my sword back, Altol. Altol. He's gone. He was the shepherd long ago. Even if he was purified, his body has already deteriorated. So his rage alone kept him going. The problem is Altol. Do you think that he stole Azura's sword? Let's go back and get the story from him straight. If Azura really was the Shepherd, then that makes Altol. Yes. He was likely the Seraph who formed a pact with Azura. Just like everyone else has... with me? We've defeated Azura. Much appreciated. Are you... who we think you are? It is as you suspect. I am the Seraph who guided Azura to the Way of the Shepherd, and used him as a vessel. You stole his sword? I did. This is something special. You can tell with one look. This sword is made from a rare metal called Mithru. It truly does have enough power to cleave the world. Is that why you stole it and hid it? Yes. I was probably the one he wanted to slay most of all. But I had no choice. Huh. He was pure to the core. And it was that shining purity that tore him apart with worry. And eventually, 
cost him his very soul. That's why he made that sword. To cut down anything that would be corrupted by malevolence. But I have no qualms about giving this sword to you. If you can learn to use it, it might aid you even more than the spiritual powers. I'll pass. I already got a sword anyways. Well said. So you passed the trial of the spirit as well. If you don't need it, I'll take it off your hands. We were meant for each other. My blade and I shall cleave the world. Maltran? Saray, look closely. No way! She's... A Hellion! I apologize for ignoring you back then, Seraphim. So you really could see us. What do you intend with the sword? I shall cut down the world, just as Azura wished. But why? I should be asking you. Why don't you understand how Azura felt? Were we to erase this corrupted, chaotic world and all the humans in it, would that not rid us of malevolence once and for all? That is the clean, elegant logic of my master, the Lord of Calamity. You're siding with him? If Alicia knew about this... How sad she'd be. Boo-hoo. You've been using Alicia this whole time! Ironically enough, to start a war, it is most effective to take a starry-eyed pacifist and get them all riled up over something. But now, everything is lined up for an all-out collision between Highland and Rollins. Our sad princess... ...has outlived her usefulness! This can't be... Well... This is a fine pickle, isn't it? For Shepard, I suppose reality is a far crueler trial than anything we could come up with. <sighs> Miklio, Saray seems off lately. I think he's worried about Alicia. I wish it were as simple as telling him to stop. True. I'm not sure there's anything we can do. So the last spiritual power is wind, right? <coughs> yeah, cute. It's not cute. Your stupid wind stirs up my allergies. 